Okay, you're probably wondering what in tarnation am I standing in, especially if you're one of our Jeep customers seeing this on a YouTube channel or follow us and wondering what's going on. You're going to see it here in a second. This is probably the most unusual, crazy thing we've ever tried to build. Unfortunately, we outsourced the build um, at the time to a friend of mine. And, uh, well, I, I, I met him actually through this project. Um, he was a local fabricator. And unfortunately, uh, and I'm sure his story is very different than mine, but uh, we shelled out quite a bit of money and ended up with basically a demoed van body um, and nothing else done. Um, the rest, of it was supposed to be completely finished by him. I'm not gonna go into that, it is what it is, you know. Um, I, I'm over it and that's kind of why I'm part ways with this guy. Um, it's super cool, it's what I wanted in so many ways, but the bed did not get finished um, the way I was hoping it was gonna get finished. And, uh, and actually what's on it right now, which is a brand new pine deck, uh, basically an orchard, like an apple orchard bed that they cheaped out on and put on here. It's actually a nice bed. We're gonna use this on a different project, so it does not come with it. I wanna state that right off the beginning. Um, if you want this bed or you're keen on having this steak bed um, the way it is, fine, that's fine. I'll give you a price on it. Um, I have more into that bed than I'd like to admit. And so I'd like to see that go on to uh, one of my employees' builds that they're doing. But if it's something you have to have, like I said, it's not included in whatever this auction goes for. This is gonna be a no reserve auction. Um, and you can call and chat about this prior to it ending, making sure if this is something you want that you know we can build it in part of a price. So, uh, And if you don't, that's okay. Cause like I said, I'd like to take it off. And, and then I can tell you a little bit about what we were gonna do with it. Maybe it's something you can do or know somebody that can help you do so um originally this this thing was a, a church bus and it had a full box on it uh it's clearly not that anymore it's probably only mm, i don't know three feet maybe four feet long now it's fully boxed in and it's got the back end of the bus to do that so they scabbed together the back end of this bus um right to the back you know they cut it and then they sealed this was where the door was uh, they sealed that up they put some nice shelving here nothing super fancy somebody could get in and get a little bit more creative if you wanted to uh, originally had a big ac unit for the back of the bus it does have ac up front it's not needed so we remove that if you want that housing it's still sitting out here i don't know what kind of shape it's in but it would be here i think it'd be complete overkill for the city bitty space that's up to you but that's what these vents are for so if you didn't want these vents um you know i wanted this for a tv or you know pull these off this is easy to do and you can um you can do that so speakers okay you could put a pretty sweet sound system in here and uh and go to town um tile floor again nothing fancy it does need a good cleaning but uh and then you could easily mount a seat back up in here which is kind of the way this originally was well it wasn't original for the the van it didn't have anything here but you could put one back and i probably have one here and we could even put back in there if you wanted to have an extra seat up here for somebody um, otherwise just keep the room uh, this is for a stereo which is in there um, i played with this when we first got it i don't know if it still works it's a changer um, it did have a tv it still does here um, i'm not sure if any of this works so um, it does have a pto uh, on the tranny um, and they had that set up for a rear um ramp so that's what's neat about this if somebody got a hold of this and did it right with this and some of this other stuff on this thing you could build a pretty badass rig and basically either a toy hauler or um you know go get we were going to use it just to go get jeeps when it's almost like a, a rollback except a little sleeping area we're gonna put bed in here and that and we still could i mean it's when I look at it, it's 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 one of those things that it, it looks a little ugly. It needs to be, we were gonna rhino line it to kind of help hold or guide the, some of the fiberglassing that we did on it or we had done on it. Uh, and I just finally, this last thing, this bed, it just chapped my ass so bad with the friendship and with everything else that I just said, you know what? I just, let's see somebody else take it to where we wanted to take it. And that's the God honest truth. So if that might be you, great. If it's not, maybe know somebody, awesome. If it doesn't go for at least what this motor's worth. This motor is a 7.3, uh, unmodified, completely bone stock. Um, just like I like my diesels, if you want to modify it, fantastic. I always get a lot longer life out of them by not modifying them. With that said, it is, uh, I think it's a 2000, I'll verify that. I do have a clean title on this guy. Um, it's got 100 and I think 
130, yep, 131,000 original miles, 131K on a Power Stroke 7.3 diesel, okay? Um, so super dusty, didn't wipe anything down, literally listing this as it's been sitting in the yard for a long time. Uh, we've had it for years, so, and I made a different video, I've already blabbed my, ear, my head off, but unfortunately I deleted it just a second ago, so I get to redo everything. Um, let's see what's in this. Is this open? that oh so you got your whole control panel so for somebody that's doing like kind of a makeshift rv because this has definitely got some room in it or if you wanted to put a box on the back you know that would be something i thought about doing as well like putting a box back on it but it like a, a separate its own box area um we've actually converted another 450 like this a couple years ago to four wheel drive that's possible it definitely takes some work to do but it's, it's definitely possible uh, right now it is the two wheel drive like it came but yeah, I mean, it would be kind of nice if you were gonna do something like that as well, because you'd have your kind of your bigger RV or whatever you want to do back there. And then you could still drive around and sleep, you know, in here. I mean, there's, there's, there really is endless possibility. I'm not just trying to sell it. It is something that I was really, really hyped out about um, when I first drove all the way across the country to buy it, bring it back. It just, unfortunately, like I said, I, I just didn't pick the right people to help me get where I was wanting to go with it. Give me a Jeep and I can turn it into pretty much anything you want. Um, I just don't have a lot of time. So it does have a service engine light on it, okay? I have no idea what that is uh, for, but um, we can run the codes. It runs good enough. I, I doubt it's anything. It's been running for quite a while. So I um, just want to show you temp on it. Okay, fuel. Um, obviously, that's an airbag light. Horn works, so we're going to assume the clock springs good in it. A lot of times those, those are probably on... Um, because of some of the stuff we've done to this conversion, I'm almost betting money on that, but I will run that stuff just to make sure. ABS light, I have no idea. They're on every truck I own, so I'm not super concerned with that. E-brake, um, yep, e-brake is off right now and it's on, so um, it probably has a little bit to do with, like I said, us pulling off some of this stuff on it um, that was on the back end of this thing. And then uh, some of the wiring just needs to be completed, and a lot of that goes to the tail lights so they're not hooked up right now stuff like that so um take it for what it is as far as that stuff goes does need some work there but it runs awesome and it drives great um it does need a drive shaft it um got dinged up it dry it, it does it rolls down the road fine but i think at high speed you're going to have an issue with it as far as wobbling on you um now whether that translates into super uncomfortable i'm not sure this may not even matter to you because it's the least of everybody's probably but okay so it's got a stereo that works um, I don't want to blow this right now because it's going to blow, I'm sure, shit all over the place, but I'll turn it on. So I just turn it on. Um, AC should still work and it worked when I got it. Um, again, deck here for the TV on the top. And I don't know if I think I told you, but the PTO here, um, that's pretty cool, especially if you were going to put some sort of uh, bed on it. Um, I'm going to drive up to the house and actually I'll just show it to you up there so you can actually see it move here. Now, I don't think I'm going to be able to get So we're going in reverse, if you can't tell. And I don't have a ton of room where I'm at, so I'm going to have to be a little bit cognizant about Well, good news is about as big as this thing is it actually has pretty good visibility at least for now uh, you even can see out the mirror which is that is one nice thing about the way they did the bed on it but again if you uh if you want that bed you just got to let me know because i do have uh, other plans for it i think they parked a forklift right behind me so i love the way this motor is such a healthy motor myself in here turns great I mean for being a bit these van chassis actually turn pretty well um, they have a little bit tighter turning in the oh 
all the windows do work their power how far that it looks that forklift looks a little close do i have you want me to spot you look? yeah if you don't mind see kevin get kevin back there i can't see you kevin tell you how long this thing sat I'm not kidding this thing has sat in this yard for almost five years in the process of doing the project as well as I think we got it man so it's uh you know the brakes are a little thanks buddy <laughs> they feel great but they're I'm sure they're flashed over uh, so that'll come off just in the going up the hill I'm sure but it should sound a little better by the time we get up there as far as brakes go but they're a little squeaky Ton of power, just like it. I mean, obviously, I'll, I'll give a little bit of you guys here. We're in a dirt lot, so. so she gets up. You know, I'm not flooring it out on the highway, obviously. So, but more than you'd expect, I think. I'll get some photos of it and get it listed. Uh, I'm gonna try to get it up tonight. I usually like to list on Sundays, but. Just want to get it up i've had people call me about it when we put it up a few weeks ago on um facebook uh craigslist i think is where we had it and um everybody was out of state and i didn't have a video on it i figured you know what let's put it up on ebay it's easier that way uh, I've sold on ebay many times and uh get it to the right area <clears throat> This will be kind of a two-part video well two purpose if we don't get at least the motor out of it obviously i'm not, I'm not gonna we own a junkyard i know motors and i know the 7.3 is well enough uh, as well as old cummins that you know these are getting hard to get especially with low miles like this so in the case that you're catching this video uh trimmed down um it's only because i didn't get what the motor what i felt the motor we could sell the motor for and I'm sending you this video to show you how well the motor runs. Okay, 131,000 miles, automatic transmission. Probably sell those together, uh, unless somebody buys the tranny first, and then I will sell off the uh, thing. So I was gonna back it up, but I'm gonna leave it out so I get some good photos of it. So, just make sure my e brake isn't on. No, it's not on, okay. Yeah. The brakes are just gonna scroll on, so. I'm going to leave it running for now. I'll turn it off for a second here, but I'd like to get backed up here. All right, so. Now, remember if I, I said in the beginning, I'm going to say it again, that bed, which is, is attached, but not like permanent, um, is not included. If you want that bed, um, you know we'll work something out on it if the if the auction goes crazy i don't imagine it's going to I, you know i think we'll, we'll get what we want out of it but um it might be one of those things that hits a certain point we do let it go but for now it is a no reserve auction on the front the cab the enclosure the back chassis all the way to the end here and the, or in here and then the top of it uh i'm promised to an employee if it's something you want, again, I'm going to reiterate one more time, then just call me on it and I can tell you what I have in the bed. Not that it matters to you, uh, but it is a brand new pine bed. It needs to be stained or protected, um, but that is one good thing that he did on it. Um, otherwise, what we were originally planning to do, it does have a PTO on it. We were planning to do like a drop deck, um, kind of a wedge looking trailer or a, a, a bed on it that you could drive a Jeep completely up on or raise or whatever you want to do and um, have it all kind of inclusive, you know, um, and then put another bumper pull attachment on it to pull something behind sometime. But, you know, it doesn't look too bad. I, 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 I The more I look at it, the more I fall back in love with it. But 
Um, I promised my wife, you know, we'll try to sell it, use it for vacation money. So that's where it's going right now. And uh, I should be landscape mode so I can show you it a little better. I'll get some better photos of it. But just to recap the cab, it is the back end of the cab um, of the original van body. And it was scabbed together and then fiberglass enclosed. Um, the skirting on the side, these are basically hollow skirts, meaning that there's nothing supporting them under there. So if you don't like that or wanted more clearance there, um, that's there's nothing behind it. You can easily do that there. Um, the other side is consisting of that battery box. So you probably would want to, you know, come up with something different to put your batteries in. There's plenty of room within the frame rails to do that. Um, uh, what else is on this thing? I think that's about it. Um, I'll give you a little bit more close-ups of it so you can see exactly. And, and again, we were going to line it, rhino line it. Um, since this bed can still be easily pulled off, you can get on the thing, tape the windows up, or paint it if you want to, if you don't like the liner look. Um, the liner look I like because it's a rough texture, and you can you know, pick your texture out, but it would cover up this without having to get in here and you know sand and paint, all that stuff. So. But, you know, you might have a different idea for it, and that's, that's totally fine. It's a, kind of a, a tan or beige color. Um, we were even going to put something fun on that little uh, label thing up there where the, where the church name went. But, again, uh, this is what it is. So Okay, so definitely got some wiring. Not much, but the, there's no lights to the rear right now. There is a harness back there. Uh, but they're not plumbed into this bed or any other bed at the moment so you know at least that um, with the abs light if you're worried about that or you're in the area that's going to matter um, that probably has to do with that same wiring kit and i'm that is basically just loom there um, not attached so you can reattach that so i'm sure those are these sensors on the rear that were up in the body when it when it was taken off um, so i'm not going to say it's necessarily an easy fix but it shouldn't be a super difficult fix if you have the skills you know electrical as well you know um it does have a battery in the back there's two batteries there's one that sits under here with the block heaters obviously on it and then there's also the one that um there's the one that's underneath that thing which i don't think i ended up showing you this but let me show you this real quick because i did this earlier and i this video i kind of I, I goofed up and deleted it butter gun. so i'm six foot three okay and i got about two inches before I'm hitting. And I'm not in the center either, I'm in on the side over here. So this, from this corner here, all the way over, there's six foot five, six foot six inches of room in here. More than enough room to stand up if you're even a tall guy like I am. And if you're short, you're gonna have even more room. So um, the windows open, or they do as they should. Um, this one obviously didn't have the window. This had the door in originally. We have a seat we can help you out with, I believe, or get you some kind of seat out of the yard, I'm sure, if you want to have a passenger in this thing. Um, you probably would need to take this box out, but maybe not. Um, I'm not sure, I don't remember, I don't believe there was a seat when we got this thing, but there might have been. Um, but it, the, it, the exit door was here. And then this is a fully functioning uh, escape window. Obviously that's not gonna do you any good with that bed on it. So if this is a concern of yours, you would either want to move that back if you decided to buy something like this bed or something else or um, not make it up as high or make some sort of swing gate on that as well if you're concerned about an escape um, hatch. This was in the van itself or the, the shuttle bus itself and so obviously being this you know you being in the back of the bus would have been an issue um, to go up front but with the doors being there maybe that's not a big issue that's kind of up to you. Um, this is plumbed into the top AC unit, which is no longer on it because it wasn't needed. There's no space to need that big of AC that had on it. It does still have AC and heat at the front. So you can take this off and completely, and you know, flatten, you know, cl close this. I'm sure there's a hole behind this and some ducting. Um, so you can fill that in if you want, or maybe put something else there or put another RV uh, system and plumb into there. There's, there's millions of possibilities there. It's got the speakers, which I'm sure they're plumbed in. I turned it on earlier, the, the TV. I have no idea if that works um, and whatnot. And then of course the shelves. And then here's the battery box. So um, originally it did have a battery box in this similar, well, it wasn't here, it was underneath. These are the steps you can see. So 
the guys just thought it'd be kind of cool to have a battery box where these steps were and kind of fill this area in. Um, this is totally strong enough to stand on. So it's got that battery. You can have another battery here, uh, throw some solar on top. That was the original plan. And then it's got the battery up front as well. And I'll open that hood and show you that real quick. Um, let me get a couple photos of the inside of this thing real quick. I know it hasn't been cleaned up in here. Uh, still got a lot of the sawdust and stuff on it, but I don't know if that's taking pictures or not. I might have to get back in this thing. It's the door chime, by the way, if you're wondering. Okay. Um, I think that's about it. Let me, uh, This hood. No, it must be already popped. Okay. So, like I said, bone stock, turbo diesel engine, power stroke, um, and it's in great shape. I mean, it runs great. Sounds like a power stroke should sound. And, um, I don't think there's much else I can tell you about it other than maybe I'll verify the year real quick. I'm pretty sure it's a 2000, but it might be a 99. Maybe I won't be doing that. I do have a title for it. It's been a while since I looked at it. So I'll verify that. Obviously, I'll put that in the ad um, for you. I was trying to see if the sticker there was a sticker like there is on some of the Jeeps, but it doesn't look like this one has that. Uh, let's go to the door and just see. Uh, I'll have to figure that out. It does not feel like it's latching properly. Let me see, here's a quick peek here. Uh, so I'll fix that. I don't know what it is, what it's getting caught on. It's caught somewhere though. Uh, why that latch is working. Oh, nope. All right, we'll fix that later. Not worried about that. Um, okay, so here we go. So we got three of 99, so it's a 99, okay? Power stroke 7.3, E450 chassis. And uh, give you one more walk around it. Anything I missed, feel free to question, comment, concern, okay? I know I'm gonna get the question on, would this drive across the country? There's a couple things that I would say. One is, unless you're planning to buy this bed and then have us wire in lights for you, or at least throw a set of mag lights on it, no, you'd want at least that done on it, because not even you wouldn't even pass safety if you, you don't have any lights back here. So we can do that, but that's not part of the way it is. I would say transportation or transporter, we can help arrange that if you want, or might even be able to do it myself, depending on where you're at. Um, we just had a baby girl, so that's one. The second thing is I know it's gonna need a drive shaft, a rear drive shaft. Um, obviously I drove it, it moved, um, but I know it's bent and uh, how bent it is, I'm not entirely sure, but I know they nicked it when they loaded it the very first time we bought this thing years ago. And I remember that. So I'd rather you know that ahead of time. Um, might be something we can take in and get done for you. Again, if you're wanting to drive this thing home, would it make it? Absolutely, especially with a drive shaft put in it. I mean, I'm afraid if you don't, if you drove it with the way it is right now, you're gonna blow a seal out. Moving it around at, you know, five, 10 miles an hour, not gonna hurt it, but going down the highway, yeah, it wouldn't, it wouldn't be good for it. So definitely want to do that. And again, we can do that ahead of time if we know you're going to be driving it. And you could throw a set of mag lights. We could wire those in pretty easily on this thing. You could probably get away with doing it with just the chassis. I know people do it. I've seen them before. You definitely want to have lights on that as well. But if a set of mag lights would do that, I'm sure no problem. The rest of the lights are fine. Um, I don't, I would bet money you could drive this pretty much anywhere in the whole country and not have an issue with this engine but as good as it runs there was a ton of maintenance records on it years ago we've moved since then so 
unfortunately, I don't think I have a lot of that. But with 131K and being, like I said, a church on uh, 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 chassis, um, what am I doing? Oh, lights. Okay. Make sure those work. And it looks like they do. Like they did originally. Good. Even the tires aren't terrible, and they're old. They're not good, I'm sure. This has got to be old enough tires. They're probably well beyond expiration, but they're there. There's tread on them. You know, it is what it is. So, um, okay, that's it. Thanks a lot. Thanks for spending 30, almost 30 minutes of your life with me. And uh, to all my Jeep guys out there, hang tight. I know it's an unusual one. Maybe you want it. I mean, look at this thing. I, I wish I could show you the design. They did have a really cool design uh uh, on this thing originally and and it was sweet um it just wasn't it was like drawn really well but uh what's that word um i want to say engineered but i guess engineered work it just wasn't like put to paper it was you know from paper to actual design to actual like function it just wasn't going to work it was so heavy that the belly looked like it was going to be dragging like it those are heavy duty springs and it was like inverting the things it was it had to have a 5,000 pound bed on the thing and i just did not feel safe or comfortable putting myself my family or somebody else in it and so we just i said screw it let's just get a bed but we're going to do a better one this is just an orchard bed probably from around here we have a lot of orchards around here and that's what it looks like to me so he cheaped out there but um nonetheless we can use it for something else and, and hopefully maybe you're a fabricator or welder know somebody that is because it wouldn't take it much you look line the thing get rid you know coat that so it's not so you know um raw in a way looking if you want or keep it or keep it the way it is who, who knows and then you know throw some paint on the frame uh get that nice and shiny and then build a build a, a wedge deck or, or something to, to tow a jeep it's long enough and it's got the the capacity to, to throw a Jeep on it. I know that this capacity is well enough to hold a three, 4,000 pound Jeep, maybe more. Uh, TJs don't weigh that much, either the YJs and CJ. So that was kind of the thought behind it. But, you know, whatever it becomes, I'd love to see it. Our crew would love to see it. We'll hang it on the wall, uh, take what we've done, take what you've done. Maybe you say, you know what, you guys sucked at everything. We're going to do all of it over again. That's fine. Um, I'd still love to see it. Not No hard feelings. I'd love to see it go somewhere especially with this motor in it. So that's it. It's uh, February. It's President's Day 2024. Uh, I'm going to, I got my guys calling me, so I'm going to take some photos and get on with it. But thanks a lot. And um, call us if you need Jeep parts. we got seven acres down here, 303-666-9020, partsbreakers.com. And look forward to talking to you.